What are you doing? You want to read this morning already? Hey guys, what's up? It's another day, not yet another dollar because school hasn't started back yet. Uh, then it's another day, another dollar. Uh, today I'm about to head to the gym, get a workout in. The only thing that really sucks right now is that somehow yesterday while I was making the fried chicken, which you saw, uh, I don't know how <clears throat> or what I did, but I, I pulled something in like my trap going into my shoulder blade. And then last night, <clears throat> that insult to injury, I slept on it weird. So this morning, it's really stiff, really sore. It's hard to turn my neck real far one way. So still going to go work out. Uh, I was going to do shoulders is, you know, back to shoulder day. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to kind of maybe give those a rest a little bit. I'm going to work on legs and maybe do back what I can. And then, uh, some biceps, what I can, uh, if anything kind of hurts, you know, obviously I'll kind of go easy. No need to, you know, you don't want to hurt yourself in the gym because if you hurt yourself, then you can't go work out earlier in the summer. Right after school got out, I ended up pulling a muscle in my neck on the other side, trying to do too much on a bench press. And that's the thing. Now, before I did keto and I was 240 pounds, I was able to bench press at one time about 375 with a spotter. I would never do that without somebody standing over it. And you would think being able to do that, then dropping like 315, 320 wouldn't be bad. So generally speaking, when I bench press, I don't do a significant amount of weight. So... One morning I went in, it was a Saturday morning, Sunday morning, something like that. And I was benching and I got up to, I did 225. And I can do 225 now, no problem. Did 225, you know, did two in the 250s, got up to, let's see here, 275. I was like, all right. And I could do that three or four times without a spotter. So I said, you know what? I don't think I can do 315, but I put on something like 305 or some, something like that. Uh, get it on there. There's guys in there. There's two older guys working out. I thought to myself, well, if I you know can't do it, there's people in here to bail me out. Now, granted, I've been working out now for you know, let's see, 2017 now, so probably about six years, and never once had to get bailed out of a lift. Seen it, but never ever had it happen to me. Got my music going, I got my one hype song going, I'm ready to go, sitting there on that bench, getting myself all psyched out, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. Push it up, comes down, get up about three or four inches, and I knew, oh Lord, I knew right then and there, I was, I was done. I was like, oh no, dropped it, went to give another push, got it up maybe even, maybe like to the half bar, and I knew I was in hot water. I was like, come on, come on. Because there's been times where I kind of got stuck and was able to, you know, force it. <clears throat> nah, it wasn't going to happen. So I ended up lifting my head up like that and going, uh, can somebody help? And the two guys heard and they came over and they lifted it off me. They're like, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I felt all right. I sat up and when I sat up, I realized that it felt like something in here just had exploded. And I couldn't even finish my workout that day, you know, and it, bruised ego and feeling like a dope because it, it's pretty embarrassing to do that you know you're that guy so i tried to do some pull downs and stuff and i just couldn't so it took a while and i had been running and had a good habit of running in the mornings and i had to stop after a couple days after it happened i tried running only got about a quarter mile in and it just whoop. so this was really starting to heal and it taken all summer but it really kind of come around and now cooking chicken, I do something here. What in the world? You know, just my luck is the kind of stuff that happens. But I got a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, I ended up going and picking up. I was at Lowe's and on sale, there was this black chalkboard paint. Now I'm a teacher, so I figured there'd be some good use for it somewhere. But I think I'm gonna spray paint one of my consoles with it and have a, you know, a, a chalkboard finish on a console. I think that'd be neat. We'll have to see. I might, I've got a couple uh, SNES consoles, so I might hit one of those up. But, got a dental appointment today. Nobody likes those things. Those things are always terrible. This is a new dentist. We took my kid there. Everything was good, so we'll see how it works. But other than that, sit back and let's find out what happens next.
All right, guys, I just got back from my workout. When I got back, I was able to get through the workout. Uh, ibuprofen kicked in or whatever. My shoulder's still sore, but I was able to get through everything. I went pretty easy on anything that would have aggravated it. So I still did legs, I still did some back, and you know, the usual did biceps. When I got back though, I decided to give running a try. I hadn't ran in a while, like I said earlier, because of the neck issue. I went out there, I ran a mile and a half. Had a pretty good time. I definitely need to improve on it, uh, but I was able to do the whole thing without stopping. I just got to speed up a little bit. And you know, there was a time in my life, well, most of my life, that there was no way in the world I could have went a whole mile without stopping. Uh, even when I was in the military, I wasn't that good at running. In fact, that was probably my worst thing was running. I was terrible at it. So now I want to be able to, uh, being fitter and a little bit faster, I'm able to do it. Now, while I wasn't running all summer, I was doing cardio. So the biggest thing is just, like I said, get my legs conditioned to be able to keep up. Cardio-wise, I felt fine. After the uh, run was done, I feel great. Uh, it's definitely warm out there, though, as you can tell out there. It's, it's pretty hot. Not the hottest part of the day yet. So I got a few more things to do before I got to go to my stinking dental appointment. But other than that, uh, I'll get with you guys back in a bit. All right, guys. So I got a lot of stuff done around the house, sort of worked on a couple things. And now I got to go to a dental appointment. I was talking about it earlier. I'm curious to see how much I get upsold around there. Let's go check it out. I decided to go ahead, like I said earlier, I'm fasting throughout the day. I'll have dinner tonight. I haven't yet decided what I'm going to have for dinner. I'm kind of rack my brain about it, but I guess while I'm sitting there in the dentist chair and getting, I'll uh, think of something then. But of course, when I do, I'll let you know. See you in a bit, buddy. <laughs> trying to think about what I wanted to make for dinner and being that I was doing another 24 hour fast and I was trying to think about what I had because tomorrow is going to be a grocery day so I you know trying to put two and two together what do I have right now what will work yada 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 so I went ahead and I stopped at the grocery store and I picked up a cucumber and some lettuce because I was out of both of those and tonight I'm going to make burgers and some chicken and have them on lettuce wraps so all I picked up was just the lettuce Cucumber, a couple peppers, and then one thing that if you're on the keto lifestyle uh, that I, n I never liked them before keto, but buy one, get one free pork rinds. Things are pretty awesome. Um, so in that case, that's what we're going to have for dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started on, like I said, you guys know I love cucumbers soaked in vinegar. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on one of those so I can have those in my burger later. Don't you. Mm -mm. It's good stuff.
Oh, your mom and your mama. Your mom and your mama. Yeah. Your mama. Your mom and your mama. Mhm. No, no, no. It's your mama. It's your mama. It's your mama. No, no. It's your mama. It's your mama.